Hey everybody, uh, we're down here in the fish room and while I'm here, I figured now's as good time as any to do a um, species profile. I haven't done as many as I was planning on doing and uh, shame on me for not just doing them and getting them done and out to you all uh, because I think that's that should be a big part of my, my channel is species profiles. Uh, getting you information about individual species uh, to help you learn a little bit more. So getting right to it, uh, this species profile is on a fish that has built the hobby. Uh, this fish is the zebra danio, uh, danio rario, I believe if I recall correctly. Um, It's a little fish, uh, slender bodied, striped, uh, comes from the Himalayas, and it's, it's good for cooler water fish, 65 to 75 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. It's a fish that you can keep in a, uh, in a 10 gallon tank, and depend on your, on your uh, ambient room temperature and your ambient water temperature. 65 to 75, you may not need a heater in that tank. Um, good community fish, it can live with about any community fish, about the same size, it's not aggressive. Uh, they do school, they like schools of uh, six or more probably. And uh, they have been so, I say they built the hobby because they have been so popular for beginners. Um, easy to keep, very hardy. Uh, pH, they like pH, um, if I recall correctly, stick my thumb over the camera. Uh, pH from I think can do between six and eight, and uh, most of them that you get are farm raised because they're easy to breed, very prolific. Um, most of the time, you won't get them to breed in your community tank uh, in your home aquaria because. I'm going to say they're not that smart of fish and they like to eat their own eggs. But if you put forth a little effort, you can get them to breed in your aquaria. Um, but it will be some stuff of, you know, removing the eggs, removing the parents, and not having other fish in there with them, that type of stuff. But that's another video. Um, what will they eat? They will eat everything, anything. Uh, you know, their own eggs, flakes, uh, some pellets, small live foods, uh, frozen foods, whatever you give them, they'll eat it. Um, part of the Danio, the carp, the minnow family. Um, they, uh, they have been used not only for hobby, and uh, ornamental home aquarium type stuff. They have been used for research and scientific study. Uh, they've been known for regenerative capabilities. Um, so they've been studied for that. Uh, been used to try to come up with cures for cancer. And uh, they are the birth fish of the glowfish. Um, the first glowfish was a zebra danio, and uh, we moved on from there to get such great uh, creations as glowfish and other uh, genetically modified fish because of these fish. Um, but yeah, if, I'm sure you have kept glow glowfish. I'm sure you've kept a zebra danios um, if you have been in the hobby very long at all. Um, most of us have. They make great dither fish for a lot of species. Uh, great community fish, great starter fish for a lot of people. And um, they're really inexpensive. Um, usually easy to find. They're becoming, it seems that they're becoming harder to find in some areas. Um, and I believe that is just because they've been uh, so popular, so much out there that people have got tired of seeing them and they want something more challenging so they've stopped buying them and stores are out there to make money if a fish isn't selling they don't keep it in stock um, 
but yeah, I mean, that's just a quick look at the Zebra Danio. Um, let me know what you think about Zebra Danios. Have you had any experience with them? Uh, what's your thoughts? That type of stuff. And uh, give me the thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you think about the species profiles uh, that I've been doing the series? Uh, continue it or not? Uh, any certain species that you want to see a profile on? Um, so many fish out there, so uh, hard to pick which one to do next. And uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. If you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And the notification bell beside of it will tell you uh, when I've uploaded something. And we'll see you next time.